everybody welcome back this is the jr wisdom channel i appreciate all you guys tuning in thank you once again i'm coming to you today with another topic this topic is when to move on now are you guys are you kind of like in a position where you're just you feel like you're stuck you're with someone but you're just like eh. You know, you fantasizing about other people, you find fantasizing about how your life could be, how you just, this person isn't doing it. It's just like a, could be a bona fide roommate or just a, someone that's just there. Is it really that you're afraid of being alone? Are you afraid of what your life may be without them? What is this person doing for you currently? How is this person making you a better person? You know what I mean? These are some of the questions we need to ask ourselves. Is this person helping us level up? You know, is this person when we when we when we get around them, do we get anxiety or that we not want to be around them? Do they shoot down your dreams? Do they laugh at if you do want to level up and you have goals? Do they laugh at your goals? You know, a lot of times we 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 are in relationships and we stay in relationships way past the course. And this is something that should have ended a long time ago. But out of fear or comfort or security, we just decide that we, we want to stay there. Or we'll just remain there because we feel like this is all that life has for us. You know what I mean? You feel like. There's, you know, there's really nothing. The grass isn't green on the other side. And that's a scarcity mindset that you have. If that's all you think for yourself. If you're going, if you've been with someone and you're going nowhere and you're struggling and you haven't leveled up, this person isn't helping you be the best that you could be or helping you to achieve goals or wanting to see you better, do better or improve yourself, then it may be time to move on. People, so many people live in fear of the unknown or in fear of being alone. So many people are afraid, whether it be going to eat out by yourself, going shopping by yourself, going somewhere, doing something new by yourself. You have to have this support, this codependency. And it's been like that. And it, it could have been like that most of your life since you were a child. And a lot of these things do go back to childhood which is a completely different story, but it does. And that's a lot of, you know, a lot of times we need to look back at how our childhood was and were we codependent as a child on our parent? Did we not get it? Were we, do we have abandonment issues? Did we not get enough love? Did we grow up in a loving household? Things like that. That causes us to have this codependency on this person who may be a toxic person at the end of the day. There are signs as plain as day that you may not see but you can kind of you 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 feel some things and some things are like blatant that you should go it's something that you just need to sit down and just not necessarily meditate to yourself but just just ponder to yourself alone in a quiet moment even right now and you think about this other person and you ask yourself, do you see yourself, can you see yourself with them for the rest of your life? Not based off what society says or what you've been socialized to believe, but can you really see yourself with them for the rest of your life? Can you see yourself having children and starting a family with this person? Do you live together? Have you guys already lived together? Do you guys share the same goals? Do you guys share the same interests? Things like that. And not necessarily saying that interests have to play a part, but they do. You have to think when you're with this person, when you're around this person, do you still get butterflies? Do you dread being around this person? Do you hate coming home to this person? Are you guys always arguing? They say that, you know, a lot of couples, that's just part of being in a relationship. But is it really? You have people who argue every day. And I to me, I don't think that that's normal. You got you got you know, you got ups and downs. 
you know, you're toughing it out and, you know, they say people cheat and you're supposed to look past these things. But at the end of the day, what is your worth? And if you do stay with someone after all these things, how do they see your worth? Because a lot of times somebody will continue to walk over you as long as you allow these things to go on. The greatest gift you can give somebody is your time. And at the point when they basically start neglecting you, then you take away your time. But we look at things after they've already happened through rose-colored glasses. But a lot of times we make, in that point, we, we're making the right decision. Because it's what's right for you. But because a lot of us are so loving and caring, we're making the right decision or want to make the right decision for the relationship. And what that means is that we end up staying with the person and may go through some more years of hell or torment or whatever you want to call it. And it's not, it's not, it's not worth it. What they say you can do bad by yourself. And it's true. You never know. Fear has crippled so many of us from new relationships, success, whatever you deem success. Just, just things that you look back on. And everything happens for a reason at the end of the day, which makes you who you are right now. But fear can prevent you from meeting someone today, wherever you're at. You can meet somebody out today, walking, as soon as you walk out the house, mall, the gym, that could change your life. You never know. But the fear has you stuck inside, you know, what they say, these four walls. Why cheat yourself out of a good experience? You know it's time to move on when I think we all know it. I can't tell you. The whole thing with the Matrix and Neo, just like nobody can tell you you're the one. I can't tell you. A lot of times we know. Sometimes people will tell you and we get that pep talk, especially the ladies. You have your girlfriend telling you, you you know, you can do better. You can leave this, leave this guy, so on and so forth. A lot of times that feels good. You like hearing it from your girlfriend, even though you're not going to do it. But it's something within that you already know before they tell you. Whether it's domestic stuff, it's just arguments consistently, not helping you improve, holding you back. Because somebody can really, if you follow up somebody enough that isn't going anywhere, they can really hold you back and you absorb their energy. Just your the partner, whoever your partner is, you're absorbing their energy from what they come home with, what they put off on you. You know, just everything involved with this person, who you're, who you're sleeping with, who all of this is energy that by you interacting with them, you're absorbing their energy. Is it, ask yourself, is it good energy? Is it positive energy? Or is it all negativity? If it's all negativity, you, you shouldn't have to endure that. So with that being said, I hope this video helps you out as far as when it's time to move on. Ponder, ask yourself these questions that I've asked. Ask yourself these questions and see what you come up with. So I hope this helps you out. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace be upon you in the mercy and blessings of the Almighty. I'm out.